more packages. And they're stacked up from smallest to biggest. The small one is more Coleco Pac-Man figures. Wait, you guys didn't see those. So I got some Coleco Pac-Man figures. Here's Miss Pac-Man. And here's Angel Pac-Man. And I also got some applause figures. Here's Mario riding a Koopa or jumping over one because it looks like he's trying to jump over it. Here's Mario shooting a fireball. So these are more Coleco Pac-Man figures because I can tell the box. I might open this thing. I guess I'll open from the bottom because I honestly don't know how you open it. This is what I woke up to. Three packages. There's one I will save for last. It's probably the biggest one, I would assume. Bubble wrap. Well, these are double packaged. They're not only wrapped up in bubble wrap, but they also are in a little bag. How cute. Now, I will be selling my duplicates because that's what I do. So this Miss Pac-Man is actually cleaner, so I will be keeping her. As you can see, her lips are clean versus this one right here. So I'll be holding on to this one. I'm not sure if this Angel Pac-Man is any cleaner, but I think I'll sell him and keep the other one. Okay, that's... Okay, and I have two of these guys, these Top Hat Pac-Man figurines. I'm keeping this one. This one's cleaner. It's going in my collection. I'll sell those three. Next package. If this is the one I'm thinking of, I'll save it for last. Because this is not necessarily a gold mine, but there's one particular figure in it that caught my eye. Yeah, this is the one I'm thinking of. Saving that one for last. Let's get this one. Okay, this is not the one of them. Now, I want you guys to know, my Conquer plush is shipped, so you might come tomorrow, which would be great. And I know what you're thinking, where's the Spyro video? I know I'm not necessarily halfway done, but I'm getting there. So I apologize in advance that it might be running a little late. Whoa. Phew. This reeks of nostalgia. <laughs> we got some Pokemon toys, guys. Pokemon is pretty big now, so I'm getting some toys. I'm thinking of keeping this simply because Look at this. <laughs> I can probably put something in it. Keeping this for my collection. I'll be selling some of these. Nope, this doesn't have anything in it. What kind of ball is this? Guys, I've never seen this one before. Let me know in the comments what ball this is. I'll put all the stuff I'm selling over here. And apparently these belts are worth about five a piece. I'll probably sell them all in one lot. These belts are apparently big back in the day. They're really nice looking belts. This one is really clean looking. Okay, it was a bag that smelled. This having, I think this comes with the, how do you do this? Oh, this is part of the belt. Because you can see here, you clip this on. Can you keep something in it? Can you open it? Yeah, you can. It's a little filthy on the inside. There's like some yellow markings. Probably didn't see it. I apologize. I'm too quick. Another! I remember these. What's inside? Guess. I'm going to guess Manaphy? You press the button or you push it down. It's been a lot. It's been a hot minute since I had these. 
open sesame. <laughs> There's nothing. I get nothing. I'll probably put that in my wallet as well. Another belt. These are probably really cool to have as a kid. And this is like a Lego-esque Pokeball. Like, I'm not... There's a hair in this Pokeball. I like it. <laughs> Nothing inside, of course, but you can always put a Pokemon inside. Mm -hmm. Wish. This is a Charmander, obviously. Where is he? 2018. Interesting. I'll have to look into these more. This is the evolved form of Litten. I don't know the name, but he is posable. It's like from the new Sword and Shield starters, I think. No. Sun and Moon. I apologize. I did play Pokemon Sun. This is one of those Pokemon disc shooters. It does have a disc inside, being the Salmon Shro from the Alolo region. This is like a McDonald's toy. And here's another. We have Lapras. And this is from the Burger King toy line. This is an Electabuzz keychain. Here's a neat little Blastoise. He's a bit damaged. Does he do... Is he a Water Squirter? Say what? That's cool. 1999, nice. Oh, look at that. A duplicate. I'll keep it. <laughs> and here is the big guy. You two. Is he from the movie? Like the Detective Pikachu? 2016, no. This is a Tomy figure. I thought this was like the Wicked Cool Toys Mewtwo, but I couldn't examine them any further. I'll have to look them up. But I paid this, paid 35, 36 bucks for this whole lot, which isn't bad. This is 2018. And here's another little water squirter, I think, from the 90s. Burger King, 1999. He is filthy. I'll have to see if, to clean, if I can clean these guys. Another disc shooter, but it doesn't have any disc inside. Another disc shooter with no disc. Oh yes, that's right. I almost forgot. This is the Giratina Pokemon Platinum promo figure. He is a $20 figure. This is why I got the lot. Because I can make 16 bucks easily out of all these. And there's more, of course. Here's a retro looking Charmander. Is there a year? Just says China. Sasco Inc. Never heard of that. Here's a very tiny Pikachu. <laughs> Like, look at this. Eat tiny! <laughs> and here's Detective Pikachu. Really cute. Like, I love the visuals. I'm thinking of getting Detective Pikachu a second chance, like, watch it again. To see if I like it, because I want to like it. Really, I do. Just didn't like the ending. Oh yeah, Abra. I was looking for a year or something. But I'm not seeing that on him. So yeah, next box. This is the Grand Kahuna, if you will, <laughs> I don't know. So in here we have what appears to be, I think, either a cart or something from the Skylanders. This is like a DK cart for Skylanders, not too sure. Bowser from the McDonald's toy line. This toad is interesting. Never seen. He was a McDonald's toy. 
Why do I not remember that? There's another code that's better. I used to have one of these, but I sold it. I'm gonna keep my, I'm gonna keep mine. Yoshi, and that's the collection as well. Here's Mario with Cappy. I there's a Cappy I think in here. If not, then I'll be kind of mad. This is a tin to keep your candies in. Here's the one up. Got both. Luigi, but no stickers. I'm gonna sell him. I think I already have one up, up there, so I'm gonna sell that too. I might keep this, I don't know. I used to have one complete, but I sold mine. Think about it. Wait, let's box mine. And here's a mystery figure. Digimon! <laughs> this is a Digimon, I can tell. Looks like he's missing some pieces, either that or they're in there somewhere. This is interesting. Is this like a puppet or is Mario missing his whole lower body? I'll have to look up that. This was part of soap! Because GBG Beauty made in China. This was part of a beauty product. You. Do I have that Yoshi? Yes, I do. I keep my stuff up there. So here's Yoshi. I wonder if my brother has it. I remember getting one of these from my aunt who gave me two Jazzware Sonic figures, but their noses were broken, so I ended up selling them, as well as Luigi because he didn't have the fireballs. Now, this is what came with Luigi. He was in a pipe. So I'm gonna keep that. And not many of you guys probably remember this, but Sonic actually had a Mario and Luigi toy line for the new game. And this is the Goomba. It has the Sonic logo on the back, as well as the Sharpie. And here is a Street Fighter keychain. I forgot the character's name. I'm sorry, I'm not, you know, smart when it comes to Street Fighter. I do know some of my characters. I have Chun-Li and Ryu, but I do know this is a Street Fighter character. May or may not hang on to him. I'll hang on to him in the meantime. I think I'll just get to why. This is so tiny. Holy cow, guys. This thing is so small, but this thing is so rare and so desired. Crash, Bandicoot, the Gachapon figure. Round ready to do a body slam. Holy cow, this is so tiny. Dang. But this guy was one of the reasons why I bought the lot and may have paid a little bit over than I should have, but it is what it is. And I also got the Parachute Mario, which I will hang on to. I'm wanting to get back into collecting the McDonald's toys. Here's another little Yoshi toy. It's like a Wheel of Fortune type deal. Got coins. <laughs> Cute. Here's a Wario car. I think the figure is missing, but that's going in there. Star Mario, not sure if this works. No, I don't think it works anymore, but that's okay. We're using them for display. This is a better looking peach, so I'm gonna keep her in, you know, replace her. Here's Mario in the car without the stickers. So, throw that in there. I used to have this. This is the Excite Truck from McDonald's. 2006? No. Where is this from? This isn't from the Weave, is it? Because I know there's like an Excite Truck V toy. Gotta look this up a bit more, but thinking of hanging on to that. Also, 
I need another one of these. These are pretty common back in the day. You know I got one of these, so. So I him. I really like this. I think I might keep it. It's 2016 Mario Kart toy. What is this? A Mega Man X toy? What? Look at this. This is a Mega Man X. Where is this from? It's so random. Some of this stuff I don't recall ever being unlocked. Football. <laughs> really? This is from EA Sports, Madam McDonald, 2014. I'll look it up. Mario missing his arm is in here. Anywhere. Found Cappy. But this is definitely going in a lot. The heck, junk a lot. Because look, it's one of the heads of Mario's enemies. A <laughs> fire bro. I mean, you got Bowser's arm. And shell. And freaking headless Diddy Call. <laughs> Do I have that up there? Do I have this? I don't know. I'll check. I know I don't have this. I know I have one of these. It's in one of those shelves. Toad! Daisy! May or may not keep her. Bowser. I'll add these to the Mario Law I have listed, so I recommend that you guys don't buy it now because I'm gonna be adding more stuff to it. <laughs> because I'm apparently stupid and didn't wait to add all this stuff to it. Petch. Manny <laughs> That was the worst impression of Valuigi ever. Is this like a 28? Not 28. 2008. This looks like a matchbox car type deal. This was on top of a candy Pez thing. It's broken. As you can see, the wing on this side, one of the engines on, or exhaust pipes on the back is broken. A pin. Is this real? I mean, it's real in my hands, but is it official? Doesn't look. I don't know. I'll ask the Video Game and Beauty Museum Facebook group about it. Here's a boo type toy. It's a Connects boo. So if y'all are interested in that, and a mushroom, this will go with the broken toys. So, all that stuff I paid roughly, let's see, click of figures for 26. I paid 36 for both lots. So, if I do my math correctly, I paid about maybe 98 bucks for all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a bit of money, but no worries, I think I can make it all back. Plus, we got some stuff added to the collection. And we got some mystery toys or items, like this pen and this Mega Man figure I'm going to send to the Video Game Mobility Museum for more information. But, with all that said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, share with your friends, and of course subscribe for more video game merchandise unboxings and video game merchandise videos. I am working on the Spyro video, guys. It's just taking a little bit of time. And... I need to find more motivation to get back into editing that. But, that being said, stay tuned for my next video. Not this truly. Give me a chance. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Out with the aim.